now we don't need to worry about using the correct vocabulary. So let's just kind of look at some things that are happening. So from 0 to 5, is the particle increasing or decreasing? Decreasing, decreasing right? Oh, huh, that's weird. Um, so I'm just going to kind of put a nice little positive here. I'm sorry, negative. All right, from, from time interval, OK. I get to throw things in class, <laughs> not you. From 0.5 to 1, is the particle increasing or decreasing? Going from 35 to 30.2, it's decreasing. From 1 to 1.5, what's happening? Ah, it's increasing. So do we have a change in direction there? Yes, because it's changing from decreasing to increasing, right? Now let's continue. 3.6 to 4.8, increasing. 4.8 to 4.5, it's decreasing. That's another change in directions. Then again, it keeps on decreasing, keeps on decreasing, keeps on decreasing. So the number of changes of direction is just going to be 2. Okay. Um, now, again, just like when we talked about it, if we're going to use our justification, we got to say, you know, what is happening? We don't want to say, oh, there's two change in signs, or it's changing from, you know, the particle is changing direction because the, you know, it's in changing from increasing and decreasing. No, we want to be specific. So we can say the particle changes direction two times. Sense, or you could just, you don't really need, you could just say two, sense. Particle changes, or ch the particle position changes changes from decreasing to increasing on the interval, uh, let's see, what is my interval? Well, we want to say, yeah, it's changing from um, 0 0.05 or 0.5 to 1.5, right? It's decreasing there. And then from there to there, it's increasing. And the. and changing, increasing to decreasing on the interval 1.5 to 2.7. But does that make sense? Make sure you guys are explicit with the interval, saying this is what's happening at the interval. Now again, guys. If we 